नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्णा प्रेम गुरुदेवगचंद्राय So the actual hidden meaning is that Nanda Baba didn't do any pious activities, neither did Jashoda Devi, because their eternal relationship with Krishna is as eternal mother and father. But the question is, if they've done something pious, some charity, some austerity, I want to know what that is so that I can also follow that and also become as qualified as them to serve Krishna. Actually, Mother Yasoda and Nanda Baba are Nitya Siddha, eternal associates of the Lord. Their expansions, Vasudeva and Devaki, Prishni, Garba and Sutapa, Prishni and Sutapa, and so many of the other incarnations' parents, like Koshalya and Dasarath, are... Hmm? Kashyapa and Aditi are all expansions or expansions of expansions of Jashoda and Nanda Baba. And they performed austerities to get Krishna as a son, oh. um, Kashyapa and Aditi. 
They what about Devaki Vasudev? Devaki and Vasudev were the um, they didn't stand on their heads. On they their... did any authorities or no? A lot. Did they? <laughs> In their past lives, as Krishna and Sutapa. I think never they did. No, they didn't do any. They were also eternal associates. So Nanda Krishna Garba, Aditi, Kashya, or they they have. But they are eternal. Nanda Baba and Jashoda wants to taste, just as Krishna is Rasubhai Saha, he wants to taste everything top to bottom, with the gopis, with Madhya Yasoda, and even with Kubja. So Madhya Yasoda and Nanda Baba, they want to taste everything. They want to taste as Siddha, why eternal... Why it has been told that what Nanda Baba did and what Jashoda, why it is told? Tattu lila kai vanyam. What meaning? That Krishna sometimes descends and he does everything or lila. He never does any karma, but lila. And their associates also, oh, like Krishna, oh, they are doing lila according to what? Uh, society are. No, no, no. Like, huh, human like past tense they are doing. And to attract others for this. As Krishna conditioned for attracting all and to engaging all in Krishna consciousness, or they also. And as Krishna in his so many prakash infestation, or he becomes oh what millions of Krishna. Oh, Nanda Yashoda all also in same way, in so many past times. Mm -hmm. In the sections. 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 Oh, they also became oh, millions of Nanda and millions of Yashoda. Mm -hmm. In Prakat Leela too, like coming in from this Brahmalok to uh, <coughs> Thank you. Why he is telling? Oh, for you. Why he is telling? Why he became so astonished? Astonished. And who is telling? Huh? And then, what, what is the story? What is the story behind? Yeah. Oh, you can stand up. You are young. <laughs> In this verse, Krikshya Maharaj, who has left everything, he has only a few days left in this world because he has been cursed and he's been hearing of oh, nine cantos of Shri Bhagavatam now tenth canto has begun and he's hearing how that supreme personality of Godhead who in the form of Barahadev lifted the whole world on the tip of his nose mm -hmm. that supreme personality of Godhead who very easily with the tip of his fingers tore apart Irani Kashipu who was the master of the universe at that time that supreme personality of Godhead who appeared as Ram Chandra and killed Ravan and performed so many heroic deeds. Now that Supreme Personality of Godhead has appeared in Vrindavan and he's not even strong enough to roll over from his back to his belly. Huh? <laughs> now he's playing like a baby. If a mosquito will come, oh, he'll only cry, wah, wah. <laughs> he cannot save himself. Who will save him? In his other incarnations, oh, he has saved the world many times. But now, uh, who will save him? Madhya Shoda will save him. Hmm? Whatever he needs. Hmm? He's crying. She will give her breast milk to him. Here he's saying, Ishodava Mahabhaga. Hmm? So now that Supreme Lord has come like an ordinary child. And he's playing in Vrindavan. So, Krishna Maharaj. <laughs> uh, 
Hare Hare Krishna. So Prakshit Maharaj, hearing these things, he's saying, Nanda Kim Akarad Brahman. Oh, what did Nanda Baba do? What did Nanda Maharaj do? Hmm? That Krishna is playing as his son. That's oh when Nanda Baba returns from the Nanda Baitak from his council and he returns in the evening. At that time, Krishna will go and take the wooden shoes of his father and holding them on his head, he will come dancing and very happily bring his father's shoes on his head. Hmm? When it's time for Nanda Baba to take Prashad, then they will tell Krishna, bring your father's seat and he will go to get the wooden seat of Nanda Baba. But he's only a small baby and he tries to lift it and he cannot lift it. Hmm? So, how is it that Nanda Maharaj attained this fortunate position of being the father of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna? Hmm? Yashodava Mahabhaga and how is it that Yashodamaya is so Mahabhaga, that means greatly fortunate. This word Mahabhaga has been used in Srimad Bhagavatam when? It has only been used in, re in reference to those devotees whose love is so powerful they can uh, control Krishna. So Krishna playing like a baby in the house of Madhya Shoda. Sometimes he's stealing butter. And when Madhya Shoda comes to catch him, seeing her, the Supreme Lord, who, whose very name causes fear personified to be afraid, now becomes afraid of Madhya Shoda. She's taking a stick in her hand and chasing him. And he's running away very fearfully. fearfully. Oh, Maya, Maya, don't beat me, don't beat me. And she can catch him. And only by the rope from her hair, she can bind Krishna in such a way that he cannot become free. Hmm? He is Mukunda, he gives liberation to everyone, but he is being bound by the rope from the hair of Madhya Shoda. Hmm? When Krishna is hungry, he will come to Madhya Shoda, Oh mother, oh mother, please I want to take your breast. But if he is covered in the dust and cow dung from playing in the garden, she will tell him, Yo, you dirty boy, get down. Hmm? You cannot come in my lap. And Krishna will fall on the ground and he will begin to cry. So, so many sages and rishis for thousands of years performing austerities and crying, Oh Krishna, oh Krishna, please come in my heart. But he's not coming. Hmm? And, but here in uh, Vrindavan, that Krishna, he himself is crying that he wants to come in the lap of Madhya Shoda and she's telling him what? Oh, shaking a finger and telling him, No. Hmm? Will you behave like that again? I'll teach you such a lesson. You will not forget for your whole life. Hmm? And Krishna is crying. So hearing these sweet pastimes of Krishna in Vrindavan. Maybe Krishna whips or he is like a drama play this guy. Now the question comes. Is Krishna weeping, only pretending? No. He's God. He knows everything. And just to have a pastime, he's playing like an actor. Is it true? No. 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 Krishna's really afraid. Krishna's really crying. Why? Because the prayer of Madhya Shoda. Oh, this is essence of Swarup Shakti. It is so powerful. It has overpowered Krishna. And though he is Bhagavan, he is completely forgotten. He is Bhagavata. It is stated in Chandogya Upanishad, Rasa Vaisaha. The absolute truth is the ocean of Rasa. But in order to taste that Rasa, the mellow of parental love of Madhya Shoda, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, will have to be in complete forgetfulness and become like a child in her arms. So hearing these things, Brikshit Maharaj is struck with wonder and he says, Yashodava Mahabhaga Papoyascha Stanam Hari. Oh, how is it possible that the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who nourishes and maintains the whole universe, is now being nourished by the breast milk of Madhya Shoda? So, we are very fortunate to hear this wonderful description from Srila Gurudev and Vaishnavas. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but now in Braj, in Vrindavan, He is the son of Nanda Maharaj. 
and the beloved child or son of Yashoda Maya. He doesn't know that his Supreme Personality of Godhead is completely forgotten. How? By the potency of Yoga Maya. And similarly, Nanda Baba, Yashoda Maya, and all the other Brajwasis, they do not know at all that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In fact, they pray for Krishna's protection, that may this child be always protected from all inauspiciousness or all evil eyes. And they do so many performances and so many festivals to do that. And they pray to Narayan for his protection. And Krishna, with his wonderful sweet pastimes, like an ordinary baby, just like any human baby would behave with their mother and father, Krishna is behaving with them. And those wonderful childish activities, they completely enchant and captivate the minds of Nanda Baba and Yashoda. As he's growing up, small baby is crawling and gradually starting to walk. He starts stealing butter and he makes his group with other similar cowherd boyfriends. And he goes from house to house, house to house, house to house, house, and he steals butter. And in those past times, what he does, if he goes to one house and he doesn't find How any he butter, How he go? The beautiful form of Krishna at that age, how is it like? He's wearing any beautiful garments? No, completely naked. Mother Yashoda, she has given one waist uh, uh, belt, very thin, very nice, and it has bells. And when he walks, and when he goes, they ring. And very nice, sweet music comes out of that. And the beauty of Krishna, it becomes even more and more and more uh, exciting. So, when he's going with his friends, and he's entering in any house to steal the butter, and if he doesn't seize the butters there, then what happens? It becomes very frustrating. Okay. So, they have kept the butter hidden from me, so I must teach them a lesson. So, he will do so many na naughty things. Sometimes, what he will do? He will go and pass urine and come. <laughs> and the gopi, they will say, Oh, this naughty Krishna. I shall try to catch him. But before they can catch, he skips from there. Another time, if again he doesn't get the butter, then what he does? He goes and pinches their baby, and the baby starts crying, and then he comes from there. So, one after another, he's doing so many things. Then, one day, one of the gopis, she becomes very determined. Oh, He's just a small child, and he's trying to be too much smart. No problem. This time I must catch him, and I must take him to Yashoda Maya, and show, him, show her that, look, I got your son red-handed, how naughty the son is. And he must take some actions now, so that his character and his personality, when he grow up, is bona fide. Otherwise, he's going to become like a big thief. And when they come, and they narrate all these wonderful pastimes of Krishna, then what is the idea behind? They're trying to tell Yashoda that, Oh Yashoda, you're very fortunate to be Krishna's mother, but you're deprived of this rasa. What? That Krishna is not stealing butter in your house. He's coming to our house and he's doing so many things. But Mother Yashoda, what she's thinking? That, oh, why, why he has to go and steal butter in the houses of other gopis? My butter, what I make in my house, is not good quality, it's not sufficient for him, no. Then what's the reason? And she's thinking in so many ways how she can improve her services for Krishna that he doesn't have to go outside. One day, one gopi, she catches Krishna while Krishna is stealing the butter. And then she says, all right, now I'm not going to hear any excuse and I'm going to take you to your mother. And then grabbing Krishna's arm, she starts walking towards Nanda Bhavan to tell Yashoda of Krishna's mischief which he has done. And as she is walking towards the house of Yashoda Maya, then when she comes in the marketplace or in the open road, then she covers her face half like this up to nose with her veil because that's the custom. In India, still 
if you go in villages, especially in Braj and around, everywhere you will see, and Rajasthan especially, if ladies would go out of the house, then they will not just walk completely uh, uh, without covering their face, because this is their custom, age old, from tradition they do like this. So this lady was fo uh, following her customs, she was walking like that, and grabbing Krishna's arm in one of her hands. And as she was walking, then Krishna, very nicely, very sweetly, like a gentle baby, said, Oh, you are so cruel. You are you're holding my uh, arm so tightly. It's burning. Okay, no problem. If you want to keep holding on, you can take other arm and give this arm some rest. And she says, Okay. And because she's covering her face, so she doesn't really notice what has happened. And she does it. She grabs Krishna's arm, other arm, and starts walking towards Nanda Baba's house. And then when she arrives there, she calls out, Hey Yashode, come out! Hey Yashode, come out! And then, hearing the sound, when Shodamaya comes out, then this gopi speaks to Shodamaya. Look, I got this criminal now. Every time he escapes and proves that he doesn't do anything wrong, but today I've caught him red-handed. Here is the proof that your son is a butter thief. And then Ishoda Maya, she's looking at the face of this gopi and just very wondering and surprising what this gopi is saying. Why? Because the, the hand which is holding, which she is holding, is not Krishna's hand. Whose hand is that? Uh, Her son's hand. <laughs> and then when Ishoda Maya replies to her that, wait a minute, wait a minute, cool down, you should look whom you have brought with you. And when she looks, and she's also shocked, Oh, it's my son. How did that happen? <laughs> that I, I, I'm sure I only grabbed Krishna's arm. How come this my son has come up here? Now what happened when she was walking in the streets, then other friends of Krishna, they started coming together behind him, because they were friend, their, their friend was in danger. <laughs> they broke them. So, they are good friends, and they said, friend in need is a friend in need. So they said, okay, we should try to help him out. So then, but they were also teasing. Now, now you see, now you have been uh, uh, arrested, and you will have punishments now. But later on, they help. So the son of this gopi is also Krishna's fast friend. So when Krishna offered that now you can hold my other hand, that's when he gave the hand of her own son in gopi's hand, and she didn't know that fact. So like this, Krishna, one after another, he does so many wonderful things and he captivates the heart of all brothers. Thank Radhamananda was not satisfied by telling only that is slow. He again told another is slow. Neman dirancho no bhavu nasya pang samsaya Prasadam Lebhiri Gopi Jatta Prapratamu What is the meaning? You ask from Maharaj and explain this to you. For you can try. The favor, the favor Mother Yashoda obtained from Sri Krishna, the bestower of liberation, was never obtained even by Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva nor even by the goddess of fortune, who always remains on the chest of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu. So, here, it's been stated that Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, they're performing so much austerity, and they want to get the lotus feet, obtain the lotus feet of Krishna. Even the goddess of fortune. But still, though Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, 
and the goddess of fortune Lakshmi. She's always at the chest of Lord Vishnu, but still they cannot obtain that favor that Mother Yashoda that she has. That Mother Yashoda, she has this Vatsalya mood with Sri Krishna and Vrindavan. But Lord Brahma, he's not able to enter into this Braj frame. Lord Shiva also, he's not able to enter, nor is Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune. But Mother Yashoda, she is even chastising Krishna. They're performing austerities for thousands and thousands of years. But here, Mother Yashoda, very easily, she's taking Krishna and she is even chasing him with a stick. Prabhu here has explained that the gopis, they're bringing Krishna and they're complaining that, oh, he's performing so many um, nefarious activities. So Mother Yashoda, she's thinking that, oh, why is it that he's going, he's stealing butter, he's stealing yogurt, why he's doing this? In my house, there's enough butter. But she's thinking maybe that the butter, because the cows that have been milked by the ladies who are churning, that maybe they have not done so nicely. So she's thinking that I'll do myself. So she gets up very early in the morning. And then she starts to churn. It's three o'clock in the autumn, um, three o'clock in October month, Kartik season. And as she's churning, she's thinking of pastimes of her baby Gopal. And to herself she's singing, As she's turning, tears are falling from her eyes. Sweat, like pearls, also, they're falling from her face. But it's quite cold. It's October, November month. So why these, um, why sweat is coming like little pearls? Not, not because of the heat, but actually because she's feeling astasabhik above. And she's calling with love, Govinda, Damoda, Madhava. And because she's calling with praying, then Krishna, he cannot but resist. He's laying in his bed. He's two and a half years old, little baby. And that same Krishna, who when he was six days old, he would very easily, uh, he sucked out the life air of Putana. When he was one month, that also killed Trinivata. Three months, Shakatasura. But now, he cannot even get down from his bed. Thank you. Here, it's No Brahma. No Brahma. No power. Even no center. And even Lakshmi always serving him. They were not fortunate to be like Mother Jasoda and Never. You know, Brahma has four heads and so many eyes. And he can see everywhere. Very powerful. He can create so many universe. Also we know that there are Brahma having oh, millions of heads and millions of eyes. Very powerful. But you know, when Brahma saw Krishna, that Krishna entered in the mouth of Agharsu and he was killed. He became like a iron ray with fire or in his 
and he, everything was chopped, no pran, nothing, and thus here. Okay. The Brahman. And from here, for his soul came, like a light, and she was waiting for Krishna when he will come out from out. And when he came out with all covered vests and cuffs, when he came and he entered in his lotus feet. Brahma, oh, his Supreme Lord. But I want to see his so many past times more sweet past. And he did something wrong. And he took away his coughs and power bath and he kept it in a, in a cave. And he went for a moment to his lobe. And from there, he, when he returned, and he saw that, oh, Krishna is playing with his cough and covered boy. How wonderful. Then, from backside, four eyes is saw towards the cave. Oh, they were also present. Oh, he became in charge. What is this? Among two who are real, Krishna and his associate and cough, but he could not be shot. Then he fell down on the feet of Lotus Krishna and began to pray so many, no mid-jati And why is that clapping? Our heard what? Oh, who is he? Foreheaded. <laughs> like Shama, Shama. Who is forehead? And what he is doing to Krishna? My, my friend? <laughs> and they were very who asked this. So Brahma, even Krishna did not talk to him. He was praying, but he was standing, keeping his hand on the friends and taking a lotus foot, flower like this. And he was playing with the covered bath and neglected Brahma. <laughs> So you yeah, know Imam Brahma even like Mother. He can pray from very far away and Krishna will neglect. But where Yasoda Mother is chastising of not a boy, you cannot come in my lab, I will not give you breast. And then what becomes? Krishna is very happy, though he is weeping. And even gopis chastise it. Being a supreme Brahma and Lord, gopis are oh, what? Making so many jokes with Krishna. And Krishna oh, gets his float and his peacock feather on the feet of And prays, I cannot. Even gopis are telling, oh, dhotka, cheater, oh, black, outside, inside, everywhere black. <laughs> Very lusty. We don't want to, that you should come to us. But we know that without ladies you cannot remain a moment. So, so many things. Brahma, for, for Brahma it is not possible. And you know Sri Shankar, Shankar once came from Kailash eh, to Braja. And he wanted to see this Sri John Saras with gopis to Krishna. But when he came on the borderline of Vrindavan, he was just stopped by oh, so many old ladies of Vrindavan. Oh, you cannot enter here. And then here, like ignorant, Shankar could not enter. They stopped. And then he began to oppress something that I want to enter in Vrindavan. How I can enter? 
Oh, you cannot enter without the permission of Yogmaya. So, this to do oh, hundred and thousand years hostilities for Yogmaya, then he may come get darshan and then you can enter. And then he sat there and began to do hostilities for thousand and thousand years. After that Purnima, Yogmaya, so he get darshan. What whom you want? Oh, I want that. You should sprinkle your mercy that I should anyway, I should go to Vrindavan. And I can see the rosh dance of gopis and Come on. And he took his hand and he drank in a tank and that kund is Brahma kund in Vrindavan. And he took out, she took out him. And then he saw that I am very beautiful. Go to Oh, you yes, should sit here, near Prashvastri. And from here you can see, and see, vanish that. Oh, in the evening, full moon came, Krishna played on floors, all gopis from here and there, they ran away. And they assembled, they began to do rosh. But today, they were not happy in rosh, not satisfied. Krishna told, oh, today rosh is going on, but no happy. Gopi told, yes, today we are not satisfied. Why? We don't want to dance or you know, not to sing. Why? How it happened? Then, Anyone told that, oh, it is sense, or Krishna told that, it is sense that any intruder, huh? intruder, 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 outsider, 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 who don't know all these things, oh, he has entered in Rasa's Thali, anywhere. So such, we should search, and they began to sort. Oh, thousands of gopi, how many? So many crores and crores of gopi, West began to search here and there, and here by they saw. A very pitiful teen he has a girl, gopi girl walk there. Hmm? Oh, why you are hiding yourself here? Who are you? What is your name? But he has not given <laughs> any name. Oh, only gopi form she has given. Oh, who is your husband? Oh, what is your father's name? Oh, what is your village? Where is your village? What is the name of your village? Anything super. And then began to? Where is your? Oh, she could And she was very, very. And they began to all from all sides. And he cheek. And began to cry. Oh, Mother Yogmaya, you should say, you Then at once Yogmaya And began to pray to Gopis and Krishna. Oh, she is my disciple. Sadashi. Gopishwar Mahan. Please be merciful. I have given word. I have given form. But I could not tell the fair, fair about of So, the merciful. Then Krishna told, you should be here. And your duty is that anyone who has not done austerities and not have done what? Bhajan Shadhan in the guidance of gopi and who has not taken but from the home of gopi, and if he has not married to any go, oh, they should not be allowed. So, you should see, and then you should certify, and then you should give entrance. So this is your job. And from then he became gopishwar, and he still he is there. So, but he could not participate in ras. And after that he has seen Rosh or not, 
So even Shankar Vishnu, he became even Gopishwar. But he, Krishna was not his son, he not, did not play it in the lap of And not any pastime he was theme. And Lakshmi, he tried, went to Belban, near Vrindavan, oh, across Yamunadi. And from thousand and thousand million years, he did the story. Krishna appeared and told, what do you want? I want to see Rasa. You can. Why? I will. I want your blessing. Do you want that you should take birth from the home of any gopi and to be married with any gop? Oh, then I can. Then you should be here, here. You are not allowed. So even, and in Lakshmi form, it is absent for her to serve Krishna in any way. So if it is absent for Brahma, being his son, Brahma is his son coming from his level. But ye, and Shankar, oh, Hari Hari Ek Atma, both are like one. But even it is impossible for Shankar to serve and Lakshmi even always in the form of golden or always massaging Narayan. Oh, see. So what to be your? So there are so many things. That if an Brahma Sanka and Lakshmi cannot serve Krishna. So what to tell others? So very, very durla, rare to serve Krishna. But Krishna being Supreme Lord, even controlled by Jasoda So here is the glory. And hearing this, oh, Parikshit Mahanapas. Gaur Can you sing? Jaso Matinandana Jaso Matinandana Rajavadana